just making our way to the um, cooking street food that we've booked. Um, we have to meet them at this cafe at six o'clock. We've had a bit of a slow day today. We're both feeling quite hungover. So it seems a bit manic. It's Friday night, so it's all it's all a bit crazy in Hanoi. But yeah, we're just heading to the cooking class. Not cooking class, I keep calling it that. Just heading to the street food tour. Babe, do you know who we did it with? Uh, Hanoi Street Food. It's called Hanoi Street Food. So we're here, we've met this, not this guy. <laughs> we've met this guy as our tour, tour guide. Um, yeah, it's a group of six, so we're waiting for two more people. <laughs> So before we start a tour, I'm gonna to ask you a question. That are you okay with any kind of food? Yeah, beef, pork, chicken, fish. Yes. Are they okay for you all? Yeah. yeah. Any allergies? Like are you allergic to the wheat, lado, or dairy milk? No. So we're getting the green green papaya salad first to warm up our stomachs. Yeah. We move on to the proper food. We're both starving, so yeah. it should be good. Yeah, he said he uh, he hopes that all of our stomachs are empty. Yeah. <laughs> so lots of food. So we are at the first place. Where are we sitting? Yeah. Okay. The salads from the green papaya with the beef jerky and normal roast beef and the powdered peanut and the green Vietnamese oregano. Is it good? Okay. Fried pork chopper. Yeah. And mix up with rice flour and rock granite leaves for uh, fermenting in five days. What's next? Okay, so, so next is the dumplings. <laughs> dumplings? <laughs> Oh, they're really sticky. Yeah, I know. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's sticky. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, they're all right. I'm not a fan of the inside. Of the? The inside's really nice. So we've just left the first place um, where we had dried beef salad. Yeah, it was uh, papaya salad. Papaya salad. Then we had uh, fermented pork, fried pork, fried pork, and then we had dumplings with yes. mushroom and shrimp. Yeah. Which one was your favourite one? Uh, I think the salad was my favourite. I think the salad was, was my favourite too. It had sweet and sour sauce, so it hit both of the uh, both sides of your tongue. And um, the papaya was actually really nice just to eat. And it was nice amount of crunchiness. Yeah. Second place. Not sure what's on the menu. Yeah. Like this. Green sprout, green kale, tomato, and a pineapple was mixed up inside. Here. Peanut, uh, <coughs> shallot, and also bean sprout. Here. Water celery here. Mix up some special sauce, homemade recipe. Like that. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah. Enjoy it, everybody. Trying that one first. Thank you. Yep. Right, we're trying this first, which is uh, the noodle soup. Noodle soup with, with fish. <laughs> Mm. Sour taste, but uh, the taste of sour is a mild, yeah, than the uh, green line, and this very good. Oh, smells amazing. I just yeah, oh. it's really good. Right? Okay, Do you use yours yet? Um, yeah, in this. Oh, it smells so nice. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You do all of them. Oh, that's good. Nice. That was a struggle. 
Finished up in place two. Heading to number three now, aren't we? Yeah, that was all fish, wasn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, that was. That was quite fish. Um, orientated? Is that the right word? Yeah, that works. Yeah, okay. <laughs> place three. Inside the fries with rolls, we got the bean sprout, we got the parrot, we got the onion and carrot, we got the mushroom. Wow. Wrap that by the rice flavor. Thank you. Probably one of the best spring rolls. We could make some sweet chili. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. It's really good. Mm. Go, go. What are we going to get? Some local beer, baby. Yeah, baby. We are at the beer. Hanoi Draft Beer. At the beer stop. Yeah, have a look. Ah. It is the beer, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ready? Mo <laughs> do I hold it in my mouth or do I breathe it? I'll show you the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you nervous? A little bit, yeah. I mean, we're pulling down through the water. Yeah. We're in Okay, so we're keeping it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Sam, not in people's faces. <laughs> <laughs> Just strong. Yeah. Very strong. Some roll with pork sausage and the green oh. papaya. Okay. And uh, oh. mm. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Master. <laughs> oh, that's good. Beers are all done. Yeah, that's some more food, some more beers. And then Sam, we're ready to move on to the next place. Sam tried a, a bowl type thing, <laughs> a bite. Oh, it's so um, Yeah, we're going to move on to the next place now. The next place now. Fifth place. We got a very good and I can food of this whole city. This is also the food that Barack Obama, the US president, had. And it came to be, I mean, uh, seven years ago. Yeah. Apparently, this is the restaurant that Barack Obama oh, comes to. Oh, is it this one? Yeah! The cheapest table in Glass. No. The food is here. Yeah. And it looks unreal and it's absolutely, absolutely mahoosive. And the pork belly, we got here. We have cheese in the back. Okay. Rice noodles with a sweet and sour sauce and some pork. It was, oh, it was so good. I'd happily have that as a meal. Yeah. To make a good dough now, first you need to soak the rice, sticky rice, in the water for five hours. You squeeze them to extract the water out. And you get very soft flour. With that soft flour, you make the rice bowl. So you've gone for brown sugar. The options were white sugar, brown sugar or sesame seeds. Right. Good. Sweet. Is it a dessert? I guess so. Not my favourite. Well, I'll go for the white sugar. So I've gone for white sugar. I'm stuffed. 
I'm scared, babe. <laughs> this is worm. <laughs> is it good? Mm. Oh, it's good. Can you give me a like tiny bit? Break some up. And then it's like, is it chili? Moving on. So that was a Hanoi specialty. And what was it? It's, um, so it's the worm that they get where the river meets the sea and then the worms live in that part of the water. And then they mix it with egg, onion, a um, bunch of stuff. A bunch of stuff. Mix it all around, make little patties and they fry them. I'm at the next stop. Going inside it. Yep. On you go. Apparently the best place for dessert. We got a mixed fruit with yogurt. They're so pretty, aren't they? Yeah. So we just come out of the dessert shop. Me and Sam shared mixed fruit with uh, yogurt. Unfortunately, it was coconut, coconut yogurt, yogurt yeah. and we don't like coconut. Never mind. Next stop is coffee, and I think that's the last stop, which I think is place ten. Yes, that's right. So, what did he say about the hotel? So basically, the coffee shop that we're going to, the owner is the daughter of the um, person that made or created their coffee. So we're going in to get some coffee. Last stop. Very hidden. It was unique to get to. Because... I opened about 40 years ago. Yeah, and, uh, Mr. Zhang, yeah, Cafe Zhang, is the place where the end coffee was invented since 1946. Wow. And this coffee shop belongs to his daughter. His daughter. Yeah. Uh, the air coffee is kind of very, uh, how say, accidentally. Yeah. Mr. Zhang, the coffee shop owner in 1946, he tried to make a cappuccino. Coffee's arrived. And it's so pretty. Ah! You can scoop the air to taste the, how the egg is. Yeah. And then mix the coffee at the bottom with the egg on the top. <laughs> it's all in your moustache. Come on, yeah, give it a go. You're not, you're not a fan, are you? Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So we've just finished the food tour. Yeah. It was amazing. We are so we, dumb with food though now. We've had 15 different things. <laughs> I definitely recommend doing it if you're here. It was amazing. And like, you see places that you wouldn't have necessarily seen or found or even known about. You went down lots of back roads and back streets. And it was just incredible, everything. All the food, it was quite cheap places. So you sort of learn good, good places to eat, good food dishes to try. Yeah. 
and yeah, definitely worth the money. £24 each, yeah. And you learn a bit about the history. Yeah. That was quite nice, learn about the history and the culture and all things Vietnam. <laughs> so, so I think there's a rock slide. There's two diggers up there, it looks like they're clearing the road, but even the bit leading up to where we want to go doesn't look safe. <laughs> oh. We just did the hydro. Someone's falling off. <laughs> 